In this video, we will learn how to find the component form and the magnitude of a vector. Here we have been given the initial and the terminal points of the vectors. We can see A is starting at minus 3, 1 and B ending point is 4 to 5. How do I know this is initial and this is final? Because I have clearly mentioned over here A to B. Now the first one will be the initial. So first thing what you need to do is write x1, y1 to the initial point and the terminal point write x2, y2. Same way over here you can follow it. The component form for the vector is very simple. We write a, b and a line over here. This is given us this diamond brackets x2 minus x1 comma y2 minus y1. So you get two digits over here then. Now let's substitute. We have x2 as 4 minus negative 3 and for y2 we have 5 minus y1 is 1. And the answer we can be easily computed. It will be 4 plus 3 that is 7 and 4. This is the component form. Now what about the magnitude? The magnitude of AB is given as this formula over here. It will be x2 minus x1 the whole squared plus y2 minus y1 the whole squared. Here having x1 and x2 is very important. You can't interchange. It's going to be a different answer altogether. Now if you look at this, x2 minus x1 is just found out, right? That's the component form. Magnitude basically, okay, I forgot this line over here. Magnitude is square of both the component forms. If you know the component form, it will be 7 squared plus 4 squared. Why? Because if you do this, you're going to get 7 over here, the square of it, here as well. So that would be the answer. You should just square it up. It is 49 plus 16 and the answer will be 65, square root of 65. This is the answer for the component form, the left side over here with the diamond brackets and the magnitude is over here. Now you can put it in the calculator, it's just over 64, so it's over 8, it's 8.1 and over here. Just those two formulas and you can easily solve them up. Because they have asked you the component form, first find the component form and then just use this directly and solve it up. Please do these problems by yourselves. One of the easy topics, only if you know these two formulas. That's it. And uh, there's no other types of problems in this. So please go through them and solve them by yourselves. Over here we have fractions. That doesn't make any difference because all you need to do is x2, 6 minus half. And over here 5 by 2 is basically 2.5. You can write it as 5 by 2 in your calculator easily. Minus of minus 9 would be plus 9. So these are the answers and then square them up, add them up and take the square root of them. That will be the magnitude. So this is a simple and easy topic. If you have any doubts, please post them in the comments.